Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here on the show floor after day one when all the attendees have gone home and it's nice and quiet. Quiet enough to answer a question that I received after my episode a few days ago that described PED 88, the super secret PED, the PED that was down in the bowels of the Mandalay Bay and distributed our connectivity throughout all the classrooms. Someone asked, if that's for the classrooms, what about the show floor? What about all these booths behind me? What about all the companies that have paid us for their externals, for their connectivity to the internet? Well, that's a good question because if we tried to run each and every single one of these booths back to the knock, we'd take much longer than the seven days that were allotted to set up. So what we came up with was a system that I think is rather ingenious, and that's this, the PEDS. Now there are eight of these distributed across the show floor in strategic areas that give us coverage for the entire show. The idea is that each one of these pads has all of the gear that we need to hook up all the boots that are in its area, in its geographic region. We've got our main switches from Interesis. We've got out-of-band management from HP. We've got our Liebert for power. We've got our taps. We've got our patch panels. And most importantly, we've got this. This is the fiber patch panel. Now, as you can see, we've got the copper patched in to each of these ports, which corresponds to a different part, a different booth, a different drop on the show floor. But the way that this all gets fed back to the knock is through this. This is a Systemax panel. And quite simply, it is a distribution center so that we can take one single run from the knock and distribute it to all of this gear. If you look up in the ceiling, you'll see a couple of what we call ribs. Those are the blue things, the blue bundles of wire. That's all copper that goes out to the individual booths that gets dropped down so that Cisco and Statseeker and Brocade can get their externals. But you'll see a smaller, what looks like a green cable. That's not actually cable. That's high density fiber. That gives us six pairs of single mode, six pairs of optimized multi-mode, and 12 pairs of multi-mode, all in one single bundle. Now, if you look at the back of this chassis, you would actually see that these modules have little bayonet connectors. Each one of those bundles plugs into the bayonet connector, and then that is patched in to each one of these switches. What that means is that we can do all of our patching at Hot Stage, at our warehouse in Fremont, California, and when we get to the show, all we have to do is plug in the bayonet connector, and we're good to go. Without green, without that fiber, without that high-density patch, we wouldn't be able to do the show nearly as quickly as we can, and we wouldn't be able to do it nearly as efficiently. Now you know. I'm Father Robert Balliser, and remember, there's no Uber geek without you. <laughs>